bila LTP tempat bertemu Bilangnya hak rasa hati tak terkira Baliklah Tuhan membawa ilmu binalah bangsa bangunkan negara uh, Very good afternoon, uh, very nice to meet you all Saya Azmi daripada Unitain And of course dibantu oleh uh, my student, PhD student with PhD in VR, Ms. Imran And Dr. Suhaimi over there uh, Kita nak share dengan you a new technique ataupun new technology bagaimana anda interact with your computers Selalunya, how do you control the input to your computers you're using mouse, joystick, keyboard, right? That's all very common, kan? Tapi hari ini, what you'll be experiencing is totally different No keyboard, no joystick, no mouse Everything will be done using device like this, example And something over there, they panggil leap motion Something like the glasses, 3D glasses And many others lah yang you experience okay? So, apa yang biasa ataupun apa we try to do today Looking at the flat screen, maybe a little bit boring because it's the old technology, right? Now we want to see things in the real environment, 3D effect. Eh? So that's what you'll be experiencing today, right? I don't want to take too much time, unless you have a question. Uh, kita ada tiga station, uh, maka kita boleh pecahkan kepada tiga group. Then of course you can take them, eh? after a certain minute you go to another station and hopefully by the end of this thing you have experience of using it all. Uh, of course there's one very good news. Okay, we are so happy from Iritain to We will be giving away uh, that device for that. Uh, angkat berangkat. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, everyone of you, inshallah, will be getting one piece of that. And then, what they want for? Uh, of course, akan ada demo how menggunakannya. Di mana anda boleh tarik di keluar. Yeah, dia boleh masuk, boleh tarik. Dan akan kita selitkan ataupun you gonna put your phone into this device. Okay. And then after you put the phone into that device, you put it back in, and then you have the virtual reality. So that, that means you go home, you Google, okay, to search for haunted house, haunted VR, and then you can play here in here. Alright, <laughs> example lah. Eh? Tapi kalau you nak guna kau untuk education, you boleh download human anatomy example. Ah, okay. So the objective is what? Bukan hanya untuk game, okay? So by that guys, okay, thank you very much and please uh, enjoy the time that we have now together. Thank you very much. Okay, enjoy. Yeah. That's it. Misalnya contoh lah eh Feedback yang sistem ini sebenar tadi 
So yang benda yang nampak ni Well we see lah Pepo menggunakan phone kan Masih lagi tak berapa realistic lah So this model ni sepatutnya Kita masuk cuma dalam ni ha, Bila masuk dalam ni maka efek dia lain lah Efek dia sebab You go to the other side. Okay, no, 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 Pusing, pusing dia. Bawa, bawa, bawa. Terpakai, ah, pusing, pusing dia. Pusing. Kali, 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 kali. Tapi, tapi. Ah, tapi. Guys, kali ni kan, guys. Three hundred sixty. So, nak hubungkan menjadi satu bangunan dia perlukan skru. Tak 
Tadi tu dia punya tank kan? Ah, tank dah. Okey. Buka. Ada ke jual apa? Ada ke jual Malaysia ni? Oh, itu dia tank hidrogen. Hidrogen dia di belakang. Oh, isi dan dia ada isi dan yang the police electrolysis guna like one their own system. So the hydrogen kita pump. Through that inlet, it's, lah. it's the same thing how you do the experiment where you have two electrodes mm. to the water, and then you split the. Adalah jana, adalah jana. Ah, jadi si dari sini lah. So akan ada lah hidrogen na. Hidrogen na. Yang 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 ni isi hidrogen. Isi hidrogen. Kita nak kenal lagi. Sini ada hidrogen. Ada. Dia dia betul lah. Ada. Sini ada. Ini lah. Kita buat lah. Kita buat lah. Lain. Boleh buka. Boleh buka. Jangan. Tak boleh. Jangan. Hydrogen lah. Hydrogen. Kau boleh. Jangan, jangan, jangan. Cikgu. Jangan. Cikgu rasmi. Cikgu rasmi. Cikgu rasmi. Cikgu rasmi. Cikgu yang boleh. Hangat dah? Tadi. Burum. Mau ada gaya je orang cikgu. Letak tak semua. 
dah ko ko ya ko ini cuma ya ini cuma kami ko dah tengok kami dah tengok kami Hydrogen nya pakai Apa tembus soalan Eh habis ya asap tu di bawah tu Belum dapat Malaysia Oh sorry sorry tak perasan tak perasan Dekat eh Boleh masuk ke Boleh ke buka 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 Saya ke Bandung Hero Jen Ka. Hebat. Hmm. Okay. Uh, dia punya key, ignition dia, power. So, ini dia punya brake. Okay, ini untuk start, uh, untuk power. Dan ini untuk brake. Dan ini brake dia. Uh. Dia guna... Dia punya ini. Dia, uh, uh, button start. Uh, dia guna button start. Button start. Uh, button start. start uh, push one saja. Push sekali. Hmm. Okay. Oksigen dia hanya just bergabung dengan hidrogen untuk uh, ambil hidrogen ni aja. Itu tugasnya elektrolisis saja dia. Tak ada tu. Ni mau hidrogen. Hidrogen tu. Hadirin yang dihormati sekalian, yang menggerakkan kita hadir ke sini adalah dia. Usah ditanya minggu ke berapa, usah difikir apa yang menghantui bunda. Lapangkan seketika, ikhlaskan hati kita untuk sama-sama menambah ilmu demi anak-anak tercinta. Allahumma ya Allah ya Rahman, Tuhan yang memiliki segala sifat kesempurnaan. Lancarkanlah segala atau jangan program STEM, sains, teknologi, engineering dan metodik yang diadakan pada hari ini. Agar asbab dengan pengajaran program ini menjadi wasilah kepada kami pelajar SMK Mata Jaya untuk lebih ber Bersemangat cita dalam menuntut ilmu istiqomah dalam mengejar cita-cita dan kejayaan azam yang tinggi dalam kehidupan kearah menjadikan kami keseluruhannya sebagai bangsa negara yang cemerlang, kemilang dan terbilang. Alhamdulillah bersyukur kita kehadiran Ilahi kerana dengan limpah kurnianya maka kita diberi kesempatan kelapangan waktu digerakkan minda dan deria serta kurniakan kecerdasan fikiran. Dan minta untuk sama-sama berkumpul bagi menjayakan program STEM Yang mana program ini merupakan julung kali diadakan di SMK Matan Jaya Bersama dengan pihak IPG Kampus Batu Lintan dan Unitek Hadirin dan hadirin yang dirahmati sekalian Indah pemandangan di waktu senja Bulan timbul nampak setara Meningkatkan STEM amalan mulia PAK21 pasti terlaksana Selamat datang ke sekolah kami SMK Matang Jaya Jadi Alhamdulillah Program yang telah dirancang Akhirnya dapat Kita jayakan pada hari ini Saya mewakili Bunda Pengetua dan semua Penolong kanan kami, kami amat berbesar hati Atas Kesudian Pihak IPGL Dan Associate kerana Memilih 
sekolah kami untuk dijadikan uh, untuk mengadakan program ini okay, dan kami berharap program ini akan uh, menjadi kalau tidak pun acara tahunan uh, sekurang-kurangnya dua tahun sekali kah uh, diadakan uh, di sekolah ini demi untuk menyemai uh, membangkitkan uh, kecintaan kepada uh, program STEM uh, yang mana satu perkara uh, yang masih lagi uh, perlu di kita war-warkan kepada uh, anak-anak pelajar kita. Okey dan untuk para pelajar, okey yang kebanyakannya ini saya ambil daripada pelajar kelas uh, DLP Dual Language Program. Okey, uh, cikgu minta, cikgu harapkan uh, pelajar-pelajar semua ambil kesempatan ini. Okay, ambil pengalaman ini daripada aktiviti yang diadakan Aktiviti hands-on yang diadakan Di uh, bilik-bilik makmal yang disediakan Ambil peluang dengan aktif, pelajari, ambil pengalaman Supaya dari situ uh, anda semua dapat uh, pengalaman Dan tahu ke arah mana minat masing-masing nanti Okay uh, Akhirnya saya sekali lagi merakamkan terima kasih kepada semua yang hadir uh, InsyaAllah program ini bukanlah sebagai uh, titik mula dan akhirnya di sini Kami mengharapkan ada kesinambungannya dari sini Sekian, terima kasih uh, And to the students, uh, today you have the privilege to learn and interact with the specialist in the technology field uh, from UNITEN and also our students and specialists in the pedagogy field and we combine pedagogy and technology uh, PDP that technology we combine the two together and we bring it up here in SMK Martang Jaya and also it's an honor for us to be able to work together and thank you very much to the principal of SMK Jaya, to be able to accept us today to work together for the sake of the education development, especially in STEM in Sarawak. So we are glad that uh, you will be exposed to the latest technology involved uh, being developed in the motor vehicle and then in the virtual reality. We would like to thank Unitem for collaborating with us in uh, uh, bringing up this high-tech stuff. Dan dengan lafaz bismillahirrahmanirrahim, maka kita meraksimikan program STEM oleh Unitan dan juga pemerintah dan sebagainya. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Itulah tadi antara tujuh yang sempat kita buat yang terbaru insyaAllah okay. Terima kasih diucapkan kepada Puak Inci uh, Jamiran Atas penyempurnaan uh, gimmick pelancaran perasmian sebentar tadi Dan itu kita persilakan yang berbahagia Inci Jamiran bin Salam Pengarah Institut Pendidikan Guru Kampus Batu Lintang Dipersilakan Seterusnya kita persilakan yang berbahagia Profesor Dr. Bahir Syam Yunus Chief Business Development Officer of Uniten Seterusnya kita persilakan Cikgu Ravi Gopal Penyelaras Program STEM IPG Kampus Batu Lintang Ini orang kuat kita pada hari ini Tanpa beliau STEM takkan langsung Terima kasih kepada kami untuk hari ini dan uh, wakil daripada Sarawak ini dipersilakan Puan Ko Kiong Jo Seterusnya kita persilakan uh, yang berbahagia Prof. Dr. Bahir Syam Yunus untuk menyampaikan terima kasih kepada Puan Anita BKSB Perlukanan 
Ketabiran SMK Matang Jaya Majlis menjemput Puan Kong Kian Jo Dengan barisan penceramah yang bersama beliau Mungkin dia boleh memulakan ceramah beliau Wakil dari Sarawak yang berhak untuk menyampaikan ceramah motivasi di Persia So, good morning everyone, students. Okay, I'm from Sarawak Energy and Under Strategy and Corporate Development Department. So, together with me, there is another colleague Ian, also same department, and also one representative from HR is Mr. Lily. Okay? Okay. So, uh, first, I want to thank uh, SMK Matang Jaya, IPG, Uni 10, for inviting SDB to join this uh, meaningful activity to promote STEM and also to share our experience in this motivational talk. So my talk will be a mix in English and Malay. Everyone okay? Yes. So I will start with my own uh, personal experience. I am from uh, SJK Chunghua number four last time. It's a Mandarin-based uh, school in uh, near at Freeport there. So I started from there. Everything is in Mandarin. So after I completed the Chunghua uh, number four, there is a choice whether I want to continue in middle school in Chunghua or I can go to SMK Ma uh, Sungai Mao or SMK Green Road. These are the three choices. But SMK Matanjaya cannot because we are only given these selections. We cannot go to SMK Matanjaya due to the location. Yes. So uh, because of this, I choose SMK Green Road. My house is very, very near to SMK Green Road. Can anyone make a guess how near is my house? How near? <laughs> Yes. So, my house, you cannot imagine that, uh, my house is actually one fence away from SMK Green Road. SMK Green Road is just behind my house. So imagine how near is that. If I walk to the house, it's only one minute, walking distance, one minute. That's why I go to SMK Green Road. However, the first challenge in SMK Green Road is that all the syllabus is in Bahasa Malaysia. But I was studying Mandarin that time. So uh, I have a difficult time to uh, convert, to understand Bahasa uh, Malaysia in all the syllabus. So the first key that I learned is the word impossible. You think this is impossible? Actually, there is a word, a uh, mission impossible or not? Impossible. No, right? Oh, someone knows this, huh? I am possible. So this is the first key point. I am possible. For whatever challenges that you face, please remember this first key point. I am possible. So I start with buying a dictionary, a camus. Now the students is good because of the technology. You have the e-dictionary. But that time during my time, uh, many years ago, we have the dictionary. It's a very thick one. And because I am so ambitious to improve my BM, I bought the dictionary actually is in BM to BM. I did not buy the one BM to Mandarin, BM to BM. So the next problem is, sometimes when you want to refer to the dictionary, actually there is another word as they explain the BM. Another word that you don't understand. So you go on and on, and as the progress, you learn. So how, how, do, I, how do I label the dictionary? It's thick, very thick, right? So imagine this is the side of the dictionary. So I will just label A. How many pages is at A? B, C, D, E. And then the other one is maybe E start from here, F, G until the Z. So that is easier for me to refer. So this is how I want to improve myself in the VM. Okay. Moving next. Um, then go to the... Uh, I also played um, piano because um, my mom says that uh, you need to learn one instrument, musical instrument. So I played piano. The second challenge is uh, the time, on the time management on how you want to uh, play. So it is always not 
You don't need to be great to start, but you need to start to become great. Okay, I repeat this word now. You don't need to be great to start, but you need to start to become great. That means you have to practice. So in my uh, secondary school life, I have activities. My life is very uh, full with activities. Learning, uh, piano, and also badminton. So all these three come in my secondary school life. Okay. So throughout the learning, uh, the academy, I am a very good student. I am a good, very good student. My friend, yes, my friend used to call me Gyasi. Gyasi, any, anyone can understand what is Gyasi? Yeah? Gyasi means Takumati. I very obey to the <laughs> Jeku. <laughs> Whatever they say, okay, you have this exercise. I will complete the exercise on time. Or do it before. Everything. So I start to influence my friends. All the ones that sitting beside me, I will influence them. In the early morning, I was ask them, hey, you completed the homework. Yang uh, Jeku Bari Kamari Habisa. Then some of them say, hey, not yet. Uh, then how? Uh, then, you don't afraid later the teacher will punish you? You don't afraid uh, later they ask you to stand outside the class? Manu. <laughs> so I'm the one that is uh, a good student. So um, my, my, the Gyasi is uh, a joke. So how do you differentiate between Gyasi and Gyasu? Another friend, uh, our, our result is almost the same. We are always uh, the, uh, uh, the top among the class. Another friend is, the Kyasu example is, before the, before the teacher go to that chapter or reach that syllabus, she already do her own study. She study ahead and she do all the um, explanation like the Malay words that she don't understand, she already write down. So that is a very, actually I like her style and I follow. So that we can prepare in advance. You can understand, you can try to read first before teacher even until that extent. Okay. So this is how we uh, progress. We always target, we want to be better than yesterday. Continuous, uh, continuous improve yourself, compete yourself with yesterday so that you have a good result. Okay. Uh, a little tips on how I uh, remember all the syllabus. Mm, example, mm, okay. Any one of you have difficulties in remembering the steps in West Malaysia, in Semenanjung? All the steps in sequence? Everyone, anyone can half house Garam? Okay? <laughs> A little bit, right? Some, some only? Okay. So my, my teacher that time, she taught us a tactic is you put it into a sentence, a combined sentence so that you can link the steps, the steps in sequence. For example, actually I already forgot how is the actual words that she taught me. But yesterday I come up with my own sentence. Uh -huh. You start with Pergi kedai uh, pada pukul satu setengah Minum juice Papaya tanpa kelapa. Pergi kedai is perlis keda. Then come to pada uh, pukul is pin, uh, pinang perak. Dan uh, satu setengah is lango negeri sembilan. Minum melaka juice johor. You can you can counter check uh -huh. <laughs> Actually I read and then I try to. These are the the uh, papaya juice tanpa itu kelapa. These are the one of the methods that can help you on how to remember. If you always have found, you try to memorize, maybe you can remember, but after the exam, you tend to forget. You think of a very lively, a more funny ways to make yourself easy to understand. Okay, this is one of the examples. So recently, I want, I want to share another example is how to teach my, how I teach my boy. My boy is five years old, I have two kids, one is, uh, the eldest one is my boy, five years old, and the uh, youngest one is girl. 
uh, three years old. So five, year, five years old, they already have the spelling test. He has difficulties in spelling, in differentiating door, pintua, door, and the baton, door. These two words, he always confuses the spelling. Either the door become D-O-O-L, or the D-O-O, the D-O-R-L. She's confused. He's confused in between this. So I think of a way to help him is into door. Double O, door. I especially pronounce the R door. And into, there is two knots, right? That represents the double O. And how to, how to differentiate baton? Baton have two legs, right? The long legs, that is the L, double L. So I use this method to make him understand. And for my girl, she starts to write in uh, three year old, starts to write. You know the P and Q is a bit confusing. Some people don't know, right? So I say, okay, P facing to the right. Why? Daddy is driving and always sitting at the right. So P, Papa, go there. Mama is what? Mama is queen. Mama is queen, huh? So Mama sitting where? At the left. So your Q go to the left. So. Either the first one, you want to memorize something, you put it in a sentence, or you imagine a picture, you draw it, you can memorize, or you try to relate to uh, these simple tips. So these are the tips that how I learn and how I teach my uh, kids. And then uh, moving on is... <coughs> okay. The challenge in my uh, in my secondary life. After complete, okay, I have a good result. So I managed to uh, continue my study in degree. I chose a uh, swim burn because again, my mom, she doesn't allow me to go to uh, out from coaching. She, um, she missed me, she kind of missed me a lot and then she don't want me to move, so okay. I choose uh, Swimbun to continue my study. If you have a chance to go uh, to continue your study in degree, uni 10 is a good choice. Okay? And then you can also consider the engineering course. I choose engineering course, mechatronic engineering. So here comes the second big challenge in my life. After I finally good, okay, good in BM, what is Swimbun syllabus? English. Okay. So again, at oh, that time, we have Google. Advanced already, huh? normal dictionary or advanced. Huh? So I use Google to help me to understand the syllabus. So you, you see, the challenge always comes. After you complete your Form 5, you don't stop there. You go to university, and after that, when you go to work, you always have all these challenges. So when you have challenge, do you give up very easily or not? On your challenge, no, right? Because you are possible. Everything is possible. I am possible. And you must start. You must make a start so that you can become great. And also, you, in order to become great, you must always achieve better than yesterday. So these are the three key points that I wish you can remember throughout your study and some of the study tips. Okay. In, okay, in uni, the course is a lot. Some is uh, some that needs you to memorize and some are you must be very uh, logical. So my strength actually is in memorizing, my strength. We form a small team with different students and then uh, my course maths. So each of us, what course they are good at, then we teach each other. This is also how we do the study in my um, uni life. We go through that way. In, uh, in school, is I learn by myself. Huh? But when I go to uni, we start using this method. So maybe you can also join, you gather with your good friends, and then you can start guiding each other because by teaching, Actually, you also learning and enhance you to memory all these contents. Okay. So, yeah, 
Actually, I have a few more examples, and I think my <laughs> colleague Ian also eager to share his experience. So, okay. One last example that I want to share. Any student that is already very good, top student here, can you raise your hands? Top student. Yes, yes. I know, right? Top student. So what I said just now, greater than yesterday, you are already very great. You score all the A's, huh? your target is the straight A, and always 100 marks. Here is the last example. Actually, I have a few more examples, but this is the last, due to time constraints. This is the last example that I have. So he said, oh, black belt is about uh, learning, discipline, and I uh, teach my friends because he has already completed black belt. So for that one year, he teach his friend and help his friend to become black belt. The sensei said, okay, uh, you understand a little, but still not satisfied. Go back for another year. The student go back. Okay. So another year, then he approached the sensei. She so said, okay, can you, uh, can you explain to me what do you understand about black belt? This time he said, black belt is the beginning of the journey. A journey of discipline, learning, and challenging yourself. So the sensei said, okay, finally you understand. Black belt is never the end. There is no end in learning. It is only the beginning of a journey to a next level. Okay, so I hope you can uh, enjoy the motivational talk today. So I pass the speech to Ian, my colleague. Thank you. Terima kasih Mr. Kanker pada Puan Kof dan Gu. Mungkin kita persilakan uh, Encik Yang Alfonso untuk sedikit perkongsian tentang ceramah. Seterusnya dipersilakan. So actually, I didn't prepare anything for this. It was like a uh, kind of random. So basically, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Ian Alfonso. Uh, I'm Chinese Bidayu. So I used to be Chinese, but then I, yeah, I used to be Chinese. Then I become Bidayu lah. So it's quite quite complicated. Also, <laughs> I want to explain this, but. Uh, I think most of you are, I believe, is from science stream, right? So, um, because right now we are talking about engineering things, everything. But uh, I roughly didn't have anything prepared. But I, let me let me tell something about myself, lah. Actually, I'm not a good student last time. <laughs> Basically, last time I think now you call it PD three, right? Now, those days was PMR, I think, from Prof. Uh, this SRP. Yeah. Yeah. rendah. <laughs> so, I start off from a Chinese school, same as uh, Madam Can You, which is in Stampin then. It's from Standard 1 to Standard 6. So, it was a Chinese school. I was not that good in Mandarin, I was not good in a lot of, a lot of the academics. Huh? So my dad usually wouldn't be, wouldn't be, you start to compare with my other siblings huh? because I have three siblings. My brother is the eldest, I have sisters and me the youngest. So my brother is very excel and always get good, good grades, number one in class, my sister also the same. So when it comes to UPSR, right? Uh, they were they expecting uh, to be the same as my brother and my sister, so I was not um, always my last one. Uh, always uh, when my dad asked me to study or what, I didn't go study. But uh, here's the thing: when your parents uh, uh, didn't expect much, try to prove yourself that you can do something better. If if not the same as your siblings, never mind. It's just a benchmarking. So, but try, try to try your best to uh, how say, motivate yourself. Uh, prove it's not prove them wrong, but prove that you are capable of doing this. So when I BSR, I get three A's. My brother get six A's. 
because it's Chinese school, so you have six or seven subjects. Yeah, is it seven? So the two is Mandarin, lah. Uh, yeah. So my Mandarin, I got C, lah. Uh, luckily, it didn't fail. Lah. So then I moved to uh, secondary, which is the uh, Sekolah Menengah, lah. The normal, normal school like you guys. Then, um, again, me, myself, didn't realize myself that I, I might be um, smart, but still, yeah. So, towards PMR, still the same, lenggang lenggang, relax relax, main game, those days, uh, computer game, FIFA, lah, So, my dad will start to go and scold me, hey, why you don't go to study, go and buy the, all the the buku, buku rujukan, everything, but I think my buku rujukan now still new, I can pass to you guys. I haven't belet, I think belet one or until one, until ten page only lah. And then, saja lah, bagi tujuh muka dengan bapak belajar sikit. He actually didn't do anything lah. So, at that time, when I was playing games, right, uh, I think it's almost two weeks towards PMR lah. So, my dad go and look for me and he said, mm, Ian, uh, this is buku uh, sastra, buku pendidikan seni. Do you know what that means? It means that he doesn't expect me to go science stream. Because you have art stream and science stream. He really expect me to go to art stream. He doesn't expect much from me. So, I kind of flattered about that. So, but. Of course, uh, you yourself, that time still young, uh, you, you don't really think about it. So, never mind, uh, it's okay, this PMR, nothing much. So, go side stream, go ice stream, or different case. So, but when I think back, um, I think it's the opposite side. Normally, sometimes your parent might, you might think your parent. Uh, giving a negative things, but it's actually a motivation for you to learn instead of uh, instead of excel uh, not excelling, but they actually expecting you to excelling. So in my PMR, again result not that good compared to my siblings. Uh, at that time, I get I think if you want to go science side, probably your science and engineer uh, mathematics need to be. A A or A B or B B. So we have three class there. So I get B B, uh, mathematics and science. So I get to go to the science stream. But it's a third class, uh. It's a third class. But going to science stream, yeah, lah. That time happy lah. That I can prove myself that I'm going science stream lah, to my dad. But uh, still, the young minds, the young thoughts, where you really like. Lenggang, lenggang again, don't want to study or what. And going to SPM, same thing happened again, which is I didn't excel. Uh, at that time, uh, I get a, I think it's a, for me it's a bad result. Now. I get, uh, there's two, I will fail. Um, two, three, the other one is credit, lah. Lulus and credit, lah. last time we call it credit. Credit is Satu uh, A, dua A, tiga B, tiga A, empat B, lima C, enam C. That is credit. So, uh, once I finish my SPM, my dad lost hope on me. Uh, he said, "It's okay lah. You whether you want to go work or you want to go study." So I choose the. I think that's my turning point of my life lah. Actually, I choose to study, but. It's very hard to get the opportunity to study. So, because if let's say you're going to diploma, you need um, probably five credits to go into diploma at that time. So, so Polytechnic has this one option at that time, which is a certificate. So, me myself, I, I also didn't thought that I'm going to engineering because uh, at that time you you doesn't you don't really know what what what. Uh, I mean, career you wanted to go to, but I choose engineering because um, at that time, uh, not that time and nowadays, 
engineering is really really important but you have to see which engineering you have very broad engineering so you can you have a lot of options to go right so i choose electrical and electronic engineering into polytechnic so that was my turning point where i start to realize myself to study hard to get a good result eventually during my certificate i get uh, the best student for that uh, course for electrical and electronic engineering so what then um, after that, I continue my diploma again. Then after I continue diploma, I work, then I go for degree. So you see, I, I, might, I might take a long time to, to discover myself. Every person has their own timeline. So you have to remember that whatever draws you back when you are young, never regret it. Because in the future, you probably become somebody. So what I'm trying to say here is, um, is about yourself, about your families, about your parents, who motivates you, who who, who willing to um, drive you forward in the future. So the timeline is depends on you. And I always keep this in mind where I have this, this uh, my own, I would say my own uh, motivation uh, where you can you start small, but you always dream big. So in the future, you never know what, what might um, happen to yourself, you might be a successful person. So nowadays, uh, I mean, for, for you guys, uh, please start to uh, how say, uh, have a wake up call for yourself, uh, for, those who, for those who think that they are currently at the back of the class, which is uh, every semester. Out of 40, you get probably number 35 in class. So that, I mean, that always going to be your motivation uh, to be somebody, to, to, to prove yourself that you are good at anything. I, I believe everyone here is good. Nobody is very, uh, I mean, unless there's something that you yourself that creates it. Lah. So one another thing is never regret what your decision is going to be. Because each step of your life is a challenge. So just bear with it. Just keep hold on it. And never give up on all the challenges. Go, just go through it. Your life is going up and down. Just go through it. I think probably that's that's my my what what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, so I think that's all from me. Hope you have a good day with STEM program and learn as much as you could with the new technology we have. All right, thank you. Okay, terima kasih ucapkan kepada Encik Ian Alfonso atas perkongsian motivasi sebenarnya sedia sangat menarik. Okey, mungkin ada daripada Encik Didit, ada? Ada sikit saja, okey. Kita persilakan. Terima kasih di ucapkan. Mungkin ini antara satu motivasi kepada anak-anak pelajar di hadapan ini. Berkaitan dengan kita bertanya program yang kita pada, yang kita laksanakan pelajar. Okey, pasti. Okey, terima kasih uh, saudara pengurusi majlis. Okey, selamat pagi semua adik-adik di SMK Matan Jaya. Boleh lambai tak? Berapa orang yang dari sini uh, berminat untuk bekerja di Sarawak Energy? Tak berminat? Oh, tak berminat? Oh, tak terus ke? Okay, one day you come here pakai baju macam ni. Berminat tidak? Tak minat? Aduh. Okay, uh, just uh, to wake up you guys as a day, okay? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, saya nak introduce uh, myself lah. Saya dulu uh, bukan good student. Saya pun biasa-biasa saja kan? Dan malumlah saya kan orang kampung Saya berusaha dari dulu-dulu sana Okay Tapi today uh, Actually I'm not prepared to uh, I mean share motivational talk Tapi uh, Bila saya tengokkan uh, Ada adik semua dekat sini I'm thinking of uh, share my experience lah On how Saya jadi macam ni today lah Okay So actually uh, I'm not a good student Macam uh, Kakak Ayan Kita uh, Kakak Kenju ataupun abang Ayan tadi Saya uh, normally like uh, macam biasa-biasa 
Okey? Dulu uh, saya bersekolah di SMK Bako. Saya pernah pergi SMK Bako. Dari Bandar Bako ada tidak? Bako. Saya so, pernah pergi Bako National Park. Uh, sana banyak monyet kan? Uh, tapi saya bukan dari golongan itu. Okey? Saya dulu bersekolah di SMK Bako, okey? Dari form 1 sampai uh, tingkatan 5. And then uh, masa form 3 saya punya result pun tidak berapa baik uh, sebab bagi saya tidak baiklah sebab saya target 7A dalam PMA tapi saya dapat 5A saja so that's not a good uh, result for me okay tapi uh, ada ada sekali ya apa yang saya nak share is uh, disebabkan result 5A itu tadi uh, saya dapat offer scholarship daripada MLNG so kena dengan MLNG so uh, Petronas lah tapi uh, saya ni seorang yang tidak uh, apa tu berterima kasih lah sebab saya tidak gunakan peluang yang sebaiknya sebab uh, after saya dapat result form 3 itu saya di offer uh, MLG scholarship untuk form 4, form 5 punya study lah tapi I'm not doing well in my form 5 ok actually sebab form 5 I can say that it's a stay dekat hostel so Bila stay dekat hostel kan, kita bergaul dengan ramai orang kan So, kita terpengaruh dengan kawan-kawan Kadang malas nak belajar Tapi saya harap adik-adik dekat sini uh, Kalau boleh, tu iman tu kena kuat lah Kalau you ada ramai-ramai kawan, especially yang Kawan-kawan yang uh, hantu tu Okay, saya so, uh, Kami sendiri cakap uh, kalau you berkawan Berkawan dengan yang Baik-baik, tapi janganlah baikkan yang tidak baik tu Approach yang tak baik tu untuk jadi yang baik, okay? So after I finish my study uh, form 5 uh, Daripada excellent student uh, Tidak excellent lah Sebab tadi saya target 7A kan dalam BMA Tapi 5A saja saya dapat So for me My form 5 result is not that good And then after form 5 Saya actually tak tahu nak pergi mana kan Where is my future And then at that point Saya start fikir Apa actually yang kita mahu dalam video okay? Apa yang you Target dalam kehidupan You nak happy kan you sendiri Ataupun you nak happy kan you punya parents And then you kena fikir What is your really career Yang you nak fokuskan dalam you punya hidup Okay like myself Dulu saya tidak terfikir untuk bekerja di Sarawak Energy kan Tapi after that when I start to uh, uh, Mix up Dengan kawan-kawan yang dah dapat Offer university kan yang dia orang dah High grade punya student So I just uh, try my luck. Saya dapat offer dari mana politeknik dalam bidang mechanical engineering lah. So I am an engineering student. So setelah uh, tiga tahun belajar di politek politeknik saya grad dalam uh, mechanical engineering then saya dapat offer dari Sarawak Energy. So at that time saya ah uh, okay lah saya stop my study dulu. Saya join SCB ah tu zero tu zero one four alright. After that, uh, you know my my work is not really engineering lah. Sebab saya masuk HR, okay? Saya is a HR punya orang. So hopefully in five or six years dari sekarang saya jumpa ada adik lagi lah dalam interview lah. Hopefully, okay? So hopefully ada yang you dapat join Sarawak Energy in maybe six years from now. Maybe uh, sitting in front of me, you nak jadi engineer ke? Okay, so uh, keep it in your mind. Uh, you study untuk apa? You nak ubah nasib you, you nak ubah you punya, uh, you punya apa tu? Family you. Itu yang you nak fikirkan. So kalau di Sarawak Energy kita ada banyak bidang engineering kita boleh ambil. Kita ada mechanical engineering, kita ada electrical engineering. Kita ada hydrologis. Ha, kalau di Sarawak kita kekurangan hydrologis. Siapa yang minat nak jadi hydrologis? Ha, belajar pasal hydro, pasal baku, burung. And then siapa nak jadi geologis? Geologis pun ada juga. Bukan, bukan. Ah? Hydrologis tak tahu. Okay, Google lah. Ada dia kau punya handphone. So, okay ah, uh, okay masa saya kerja di SCP. Uh, saya pernah si baik lagi uh, ICB offer scholarship untuk saya belajar lagi okey saya further my study in uh, UIKM so 
the key points ini never stop learning ya ada ada. So you have a bright future, you have a a lot of a career yang tunggu you dalam especially dalam science, technology, engineering dan uh, mana mana field yang you minat lah. You nak jadi cikgu, you pergi ke matkap. You nak jadi engineering, uh, apa tu engineer, you boleh uh, pilih mana mana IPT. Contohnya dekat sini kita ada unit ten, ni pun boleh apply juga. Alright. So hopefully ada ada semua belajar bersungguh sungguh. Bapa orang yang akan ambil SPM? Country, no phone. Alright, okay. Uh, so belajar bersungguh sungguh. Uh, sekali anda gagal, anda fail tak susinya anda fail lah. You ada chance, everyone have a chance. Cuma terpulang pada ada ada sedi, ada ada nak belajar lagi tak boleh tidak, okay? So jangan sekali anda jatuh, jangan terus jatuh, bangunlah, okay? So terima kasih. So that's all from me. Thank you. Uh, seketika nanti kita akan bersama dengan uh, keluarga Kes FM. Saya berjumpa di Kes FM sebagai seorang Promotion and Publicity Coordinator dan juga seorang penyampai radio Saya ke udara pada jam 5 sampai jam 9 malam setiap Isnin hingga Jumaat Jadi yang nak dengar boleh dengar melalui frekuensi 99.3 FM Dan saya cerita seorang kan sebagai seorang penyampai Okey saya nak menggunakan beliau kamu sejak ke udara pukul 6 sampai pukul 10 pagi sama sahabat saya DJ Adi Belari Soalan yang mudah saja Siapa yang dapat pada hari kami jawapan satu tambah satu? Apa jawapannya? Okey, kami nak agak ambil Okey, siapa-siapa yang mau jawab, kami agak Kalau buka paling jahit sekali, kami pilih In 3, 2, 1, go! Buka balik jahit, buka balik jahit Hah? Okey, bagus Kita akan buka kita dulu jahit Okey, satu nama satu, nama kita Hah? Putri Okey, nah, jawapannya? Dua Dua, tanya Putri Apa hal boleh nanya satu nama satu? Sebab hari itu kita akan terlibat dalam program STEM Dalam STEM ni ada matematik Satu nama satu matematik sih Okey, oleh kerana matematik kita dah lepas Kita buka subjek sains Okey, kawan kan? Reproduction. Reproduction. Okey. Apa nama kita? Nadia ada apa kan? Video. 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 Apa apa? Okey. Ikut. Apa dia? Civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. Salam. Salam. Apa dia ya? Jawapannya Engineering Tiga Tiga Engineering Sesat Engineering Okey 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 Baliklah tuan membawa ilmu binalah bangsa bangunkan negara Atau cara penutup ialah sesi fotografi bersama Dewi Kehormat Dan jawatan kuasa kerja program STEM IPG Kampus Batu Hitam dan Unit 10 Sarawak Saya selaku penerusi majlis memohon ribuan kemaafan anda Salah anda ada salah dan silap sepanjang saya mengajarakan majlis ini Sungai disusur di sehari-hari dalam gelap menangkap ikan saya susun sebelum jadi salah dan silap harap dimaafkan.